Hmm? Hey everyone, we are getting our why you starting this without me? Our sound and our our picture. I must not be important. And our lighting together, um, going live kind of impromptu um, on on Facebook here, because when our three boys had planned on being home this weekend, we had no idea the stuff that was going to happen. I thought I was going to catch a case over the, the course of this week in the killings of people uh, and everything and everything that's going on with being black in America. I hope I ain't gotta catch a case. So first of all, you guys know us. We are Rufus and Jenny Triplett and you guys see us a lot on Facebook Live and everything. Hey every guys, you guys for, uh, for tuning in. That might pose a problem, people knowing me. These are our boys that we talk about our lot a lot. Honorable son number one, Michael. Also known as Honorable, is he some type of judge or something? Mikael. Michael Jackson. Okay. <laughs> Honorable son number two, Mosi, yeah, also known as Musa. Musa. Okay. And then we've got Honorable son, baby boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. No, Miles, yeah, also yeah. known as Musa. Hey, yo, 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 baby okay. boo, what's up? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, where did y'all trying to relate okay. to people and how they talk the right now? As a, um, as a mother, of three boys, and I'm gonna say black. I'm just gonna drop the African American because I ain't, I'm when black. people when people see my boys, my I mean I'm boys, brown. I ain't, I'm, I'm brown skin. They see black. The first thing they see is black. Okay, no. so being a mother of my three fault. boys, I am very concerned. I'm very concerned about their well well being. I pray for them all day, every day. We were just having this discussion. Hey, this ain't no joke, kid. Letting them know that uh, when I text you, you need to text me back. You this some real stuff. You know, if you don't answer me in a timely manner, what, what do I think? Y'all young folk, we, we don't know what y'all doing out there. We got to know. Yes. If we text it, text us back. Text, just because right. you don't like what we going to say, you yeah. need to tell us something. Right. And, and if they don't text me back, what do I think? Huh? What do I think? If you we're think dead. people be dead or something. That's right. That's, that's, that's right. Because, because you're, you're not responding to me. I, I need to know. Even if you just say, okay, okay, mother, you know, or whatever the situation is, okay. just let me know. Keep in contact what? with he me. Said, Okay, mother. They are who are you talking they to? They are killing us. They are killing our young men. And all when hey, you look, drive, look, you hey, don't hey, know if you're gonna be stopped. Hey, but we ain't one to bash the cops. We need the cops. But I'm with that police officer who they trying to I don't know if they trying to uh, chastise her or not. But she said, huh? We need good cops. We need all good cops. We need good to get cops. rid of the bad cops, period. Now we can say whatever we want. Or the cops that's been shot. Hey, my heart go out to their families too. But let's not um, just clutter the media with all this about the cops who were shot when there was two uh, black bo black men that were shot in the first place to innocent, cause all this stuff. Innocent men that, that lost their lives. You know, and like I said, from a mother's perspective, my heart goes out to them. Our heart goes out to that that feeling that having that that loss and something that you worry about on a daily basis and we now, need to quit trying to turn this country into a, another civil war i know what y'all trying to do out there huh you told me i speak my mind yes Man, it's mad yes. right now girl yeah. you about to get us blown up clearly yeah. an emotional subject yeah, i'm just saying we got to stop this uh uh placing blame or trying to i mean i'm telling you what i feel i feel they're trying to make a civil war in america that's what i feel yeah. if, if, if it ain't islam then it's black people or something else it's gonna be something else people i'm trying to tell y'all something there's a lot of things that's not right my grandmama it. told me what the what was going what these people were gonna do talk about being a double negative in america huh black and muslim Woo! Yes, yes. now we didn't even get to that <laughs> you got part. A double we, we didn't even get to that part but let's talk about being black and muslim because the first thing you see about about me, you know, dressed like this, what do you see? You're gonna you're gonna see Muslim. See, they see Muslim on you, but they see a black man on us. But they see black also. So no, on me and, and they see black all, first. And it's all rolled into one. So not only am I black, not only am I Muslim, but I'm also a female. So minority, minority, super minority, all rolled up super in, woman? into one. And we are, super woman, your cape we are battling. We are battling a lot of things and a lot of issues out here. And we have to talk to our, our children. You know, a lot of times if y'all follow us on Facebook, I call y'all call them my knuckleheads, you know, because they do some they do some knucklehead stuff. Can you fly? I thought you was a superwoman or something. I heard something about super. You don't see my cape? You think I can't fly? 
Okay. Yeah. I can I can run a nine point four. I believe back you in the fly. day. I believe you can back fly, in the baby. Day. I believe you can fly. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? what? I thought a ten was bad. Excuse me. So, being a minority in this country, super minority, extra minority, we are faced with all kinds of prejudices and racism. Mm -hmm. Since you brought it up, baby boy, you want to talk a little bit about how you handle things, being black and Muslim? Well, he done did something. Duck. I said, how he handled How does we he better handle duck. it? Oh. You know, you've been fortunate enough really not to have any traffic stops. Because like I said, I pray for y'all. Y'all got a praying mother and a praying father. I pray for y'all constantly, all the time. How you handle it? I don't. You don't? I never come across, I've never come across it, so I've never had you, you're, it. You're, you're being shielded, alhamdulillah. You're being shielded. Who shielded? The, prayer, the yeah, prayers. He out there in the, the streets. The, yeah, but the prayers, you know, the prayers a lot of times will shield Oh, alhamdulillah. A lot of those Yes, best. from madness and, and foolishness, okay? And you just recently moved to Nashville, you know, which... Why are you telling them people where he at? They might won't come get him. Which has a history yeah. of uh, some racial... Racial... <laughs> Tensions and different things. So you know, so but tell I, us. I've been pulled over in the past, and okay. these two right here, they taught me what to do okay. when you come across cops. You don't make no sudden movements. You speak respectfully. You know, they told me the tools not to get your butt whooped by the. By they, the did, did I say that? Yeah. So I you, did good. So did you, I, I thought I might say something else. So you've been fortunate enough. Did say do, else. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> You've been fortunate enough during a traffic stop not to get your butt with humdullah pray. You know, like I said, y'all got to pray. Oh, goodness, I pray hey, for y'all. Hey, y'all, this is I a serious matter. And, and I hold y'all, you know, near and dear with them duas and stuff that, you know, that Allah protect y'all and shield y'all from all of that stuff. But what did your daddy say when you get stopped? You said he said something else. I said no sudden movement. He yeah. just told you what it said, yeah, now. He said Can we go in his story? Yeah, but he said something. <laughs> Give it to real. Give it to real. You know we keep it real. That is the real. Give it oh, real. Yeah, that's the real. You know, he, you know. I am reaching in Don't my pocket to get no my lies. license. Yeah. The dude tried that already. <laughs> yeah. That didn't work. That's all I'm trying to say. You Don't give give the give the narrative of, of what's going on. So so I don't have to go down to the police station. Ain't the like, people saying something? Yeah, the police people are saying. So I'll read, I'll read them in a second. Go down. So I don't have to go down to the police station like Bonquisha, you know. And who is Bonquisha? I don't know no Bonquisha. Take, take my earrings off, you know, and everything, and and to get heightened in the situation. And that is another thing we try to educate people about. We need to get educated as Black people about our rights and the system. If we need to teach our over, children if you what get they write over, so. You need to know the laws. That's right. You need to know the laws. If you comply with police and you still, you still get railroaded, fine. Go on down there, but know that somebody. You mean fine? Don't nobody no, want to no, go down no, no, there. No, but know somebody got your back. Know you get that phone call. Call somebody that's gonna pick up the phone. First of all, okay. Call somebody that's gonna pick up the phone. Unknown call. Better have somebody that's gonna bond that's, you out. Yes, and call somebody that's gonna have your bail money. Call somebody that's gonna fight for you in the system. If you ain't got nobody, better find somebody real quick. We already know they the killing system. us like flies yes, up We know here. the system is messed up. Okay. I'm gonna try to read some. The phone is so far away. I can't that? read them. Yeah. I ain't trying. When I call from jail, I'm getting huh? old. I didn't get no help when y'all. You, you didn't? Me. No. Okay. Oh, then we talked to you. We yes, talked to yes. you. Yes, white, yes. White privilege is real. For real. For real. Peace, guys. I'm just trying to read uh, read all of what you guys are, are saying here. Okay. All right. So you guys are feeling us as far as uh, what we're saying. And that's all we wanted to do. We just wanted to come and put this video out because, like I said, we didn't know the stuff that was going to happen. Hey, I this told week. Matt, don't get in no trouble. And at the time, you that make we the planned, trouble yourself, you're going to have to handle it. The time that we planned for them to be home, we didn't know that this was going to happen. So it's just kind of kismic that we're <clears throat> here together. Kismic? I can't be kissing nobody on this cam. Huh? Really? Oh, I thought you said kiss me or something. Well, you tried. I was thinking it was. Oh, that was it. Oh, oh. Fire. They're, they're rating your humor. Yeah. Who? You. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving on. But with them being here this weekend, it's just kind of a line for us to to have a voice and to say something um, in regards to this. I'm probably going to end up eventually writing something um, about it and putting it out there. But right now, it, everything is kind of heavy. 
and of course we're catching up because we have been traveling but if you guys have black boys if you are parents of black children talk to your kids talk to them talk to them they got to know the rules they got to know the rules but once again the rules don't always work we can we see that on what happened just now and letting the police know what's up as far as you having a weapon we see that that don't work but still talk to your kids at least they'll be semi equipped educate them that's how i feel about it educate them on even if they get pulled over for foolishness fine go go ahead if they want to take them down you know to the system educate them on what happens next because a lot of people don't know what happens next a lot of people don't know their rights after what happens and being able to call someone to have someone to depend on to to get you out even with the sandra bland case bland case and we go and when we talk even to the oh you want to cite some cases i got some cases to talk to the inmates inside way and back in 1946 that, that she died in prison on a five thousand dollar bond my granddaddy got hemmed up that's that's ten percent bond five hundred dollars you don't have nobody that you can call. All my granddad was doing was trying to pick cotton. That's a lot that, of you, $500? Yeah. You don't have nobody that you can call for $500 to help get you out of jail. I don't know people trying to cut it off for $500. Y'all ain't even had it. You ain't never hey. gave me $500. Who said we didn't have We may not have had it for you, depending on what it was for. Look at here. But if you if you were in jail. I done told y'all. You if you make it. And you got him <laughs> up on the If you on make some mess, trouble yourself. Well, you know you better get yeah. yourself out of it. Well, you was going to be my first call. You see what I'm now. saying? You asking for 500 now. For what? You in jail? Because I need it. You hit that. See, you want it for some We're talking here. about some serious stuff yeah, here about y'all young folks getting caught. Well, it ain't got to be young folks. That was a grown man selling CDs who got caught right. up. Think about, think about the people that's in your top five. Can you call them for a $500 bond? 500, 10% to can't sign off find some new friends. And know, know what you need. For a bond, you got to be employed. Got to have a job, employed, stable address. Got to have an address. Do any, look, think about your top five. Is the top five people in your network in your hmm. circle can get you out of jail? Yeah, you mine good. Your bond to have I got, that, I'm have good. That bond money. Okay, I we got good? five. We good? I got five. All you need is one. I got five on. All you need is one. I got five on. You got one. Girl, I got five on. You got one. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and get out of here and continue to enjoy uh, family time. Any last words for my three here? Yeah, um, don't get caught up by them dang on police. Hey, y'all can follow hey, me. No, no justice. Oh, wow. Wow. You're giving the is shout out. Is my man out. throwing out ass? He's throwing out shout out. you throwing out shout outs, baby. Shout out. Oh, yeah. That's an ass. <laughs> Follow you where, Mr. Follow Filmmaker? Me, um, y'all follow me. Check me out. You know, I'm on Chap Snap. I'm on the book face. I'm Chap on Instagram, Snap? Insta, man. Check me out everywhere. Man. Wow. Okay, you? Um, just, just know your laws. Educate your kids. That's one of the best things you could do for them, period. Do I got some grandkids coming or something? Hold that thought. Hold huh? that thought. Oh. Hold that I thought. Just, I was just wondering. We ain't got no baby daddies. No baby daddies here. If I get a call, if I if I get a call, get okay. get a call. I get get can we stick okay. to the subject <laughs> at hand? Any last words? Y'all might got a, a grandkid. Y'all don't know about. It. Stop Woo! it. Stop it. Hey. Tell hey. the truth. The shame no that was no not. Peace. But, That's all I got to say. Yeah, that, and that, and let me get a call about that foolishness. He just no said no justice, no peace. You better leave it right here. Ain't gonna be no peace. Ain't gonna be no peace up here. Okay, don't even play that. All right. Hey, on the real, real man, educate your kids. That's all I'm saying. Y'all have a good kids. Y'all have a good Saturday evening. It's kind of heavy right now. So education. We just gonna chill out and have. Have some fun. I'm hot. Thanks. I'm hot. Can I go get See up on a fan or something? Triplet family, run. Triplet family, we out. T for the triplet. <laughs>